Buffalo Wings by Aaron Reynolds. It was the day of the big football game between the Mustangs and the Buffaloes. The ducks dished up their famous guacamole, the pigs piled a platter knee-deep with nachos, and the horses heisted Farmer Nuthatcher's TV. But in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm, something was missing. The rooster had a hankering for a game time snack with plenty of kick. Flipping through Mrs. Nuthatcher's cookbooks, he found the solution to his problem. Buffalo wings. Kickoff was close, so he skimmed the directions and mixed up a spicy, sassy sauce. But something was missing. Of course, if the rooster wanted buffalo wings, he would have to find a buffalo. Borrowing Farmer Nuthatcher's pickup truck, the rooster headed west, though nobody was quite certain where he learned to drive a stick shift. Dreaming of wings, the rooster pulled the pickup into Buffalo Bob's Wild West Rodeo. He found bucking broncos and cowboy clowns, but not a single buffalo. Hot on the trail, the rooster steered toward Buffalo Smoke National Park. He spied geysers and grizzly bears, but not a single buffalo. Eager for the perfect football feast, the rooster cruised over to the Wild Buffalo Water Park. He spotted water slides and wave pools, but not a single buffalo. The gloomy rooster was heading for home when at last he spotted a herd of buffalo in the fiery setting sun. But something was missing. Wings! The whole herd of buffalo was completely wing-free. The rooster reread his recipe. Garlic, vinegar, ketchup, hot sauce, and chicken wings! The red-faced rooster closed the cookbook. His perfect feast was a flop. But the herd invited the rooster to join their football festivities, though nobody was quite certain where they got the big screen TV with surround sound. The rooster chowed down on chuck wagon chili. He pigged out on buffalo-style pizza with pineapple, and he inhaled outrageous onion rings. But then the rooster discovered the jalapeno hush puppies. Of course, the mouth-watering morsels were hot and spicy with plenty of kick, the perfect game-time goodies. The rooster was ready to head for home, hush puppies in hand, but something was still missing. His fiery football snack was no good without a game to go with it. The rooster huddled his buffalo buddies and shared his plan. Fired up, the rooster turned the truck toward Nuthatcher Nut Farm. They made a few stops along the way. The next morning, the rooster organized the first ever Nuthatcher Farm football game. On the sidelines, there were mounds of munchies. The ducks fixed guacamole. The pigs provided nachos. The roosters whipped up jalapeno hush puppies, hot and spicy with plenty of kick, and nothing was missing. But the rooster was too busy scoring a touchdown to notice. The end.